If you are a real estate agent and you are tired of cold calling, door knocking, paying for ads that flat out don't work, or just tired of not knowing how to generate leads, then this is the channel for you. We are four rockstar agents who have come together to help fellow agents achieve financial freedom as well as location and time freedom. My name is Andy Hollis along with my partners Aileen Fountain, David Doran, and Tim Hollanden. Together we have over 50 plus years experience and knowledge in the real estate and sales and training industry and we are hoping to pass that knowledge on to you. So let's get started. So um, to introduce Nick, um, I've known Nick, a lot of us have known Nick now for quite a while. Um, we've had him in here several times. I actually flew to Florida when he lived down there and spent some time down there in his content house. We worked on a bunch of video stuff and a lot of us have done that. Um, he's just been helping agents, you know, literally around the world um, with what he's doing and made a big shift here with his company. Um, going into AI and has really just become just a master at it, him and his group. And what I love about this and like what we're doing here, it's like it's a, just a great way to keep up because it is changing so fast. But Nick is working, you know, he's had over 750 real estate agents go through, you know, his AI certification, um, you know, which, which is available whatever. Um, but he's done that now all 50 states. He's working with agents, eight countries outside of the U.S., just helping agents to build their business and really focused in on just, you know, the progression and, and evolution of what AI is doing for us. So anyway, um, Nick, we appreciate you being on here. I know you came to us and talked about this and we were excited to get you on here and just to do a partnership, you know, for a few months and see where this goes. But man, you know, you are the master at this. So uh, I got my notepad, I got my pen, I'm ready to go. Um, thanks for being on here, man. We totally appreciate it. Okay. Nick Krim, everybody. Man, I'm really excited to be doing this with you guys as well. AI, you know, I think it's a very hot topic in the world. You guys have probably seen a lot about it recently. And what I want to do during this five-part series is break it down in a simple way that you guys as real estate agents can use in your business. This is the first part of that series. We're going to give you guys an overview of the different tools that we are going to be covering. And ironically, you know, I normally say chat GPT, it works 24 seven, 365. I got to limit that back because it takes about a five day vacation throughout the year to do updates and it's down right now. I have a lot of other things I'm going to be covering with you guys, but now I'm just going to have to update what I say now. You know, it takes about a five day vacation. It's down a couple days throughout the year. And I guess this is one of them, but there's a lot of other tools, not a lot, a couple other tools that I'm going to be covering with you guys here today. Let's go ahead and get started here. Awesome. AI for real estate agents, four part series. This is part one, the overview. I guess I'd include that and since call it five part, the four part series. Obvious reason why everybody is here. You've been hearing a lot about AI. Maybe don't fully understand it, right? Here's what I always say. You know, you want to figure out where the world is moving to follow the money. Chat GPT just put another three and a half billion dollars into what they are doing. That's probably why they're 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 down right now. They're updating some things for us. They're putting billions of dollars. Elon Musk putting billions, not trillions, of dollars into AI. You see the biggest companies in the world investing billions into AI. The news is always talking about it. Here's the reality that no one is really telling you guys: there's no future in real estate without learning AI. There's no future in real estate without learning AI, guys. That future where you think, eh, I don't really have to learn that, still be in the business, still be performing high, it does not exist, okay? It's like, imagine this, guys, when the internet first came out, I'm sure some people put that off. Yeah, I don't really need to learn that. I'm a real estate agent. It's person to person. And I agree. There's a human element that will never be replaced in the real estate industry. And I firmly believe that. But now look at how much the internet has evolved how you do business. Heck, look at us on this Zoom right now because of what we are able to do with the internet. There is no future in real estate without learning AI. And it's just, when do you want to learn it? When do you want to get ahead? Do you want to get ahead of the pack? Do you want to start utilizing it in ways that'll save you hours and hours and hours of your time? Or are you like most agents who put things off to the very last moment until you are forced to do it, forced to learn it? And I don't know about you guys. I don't like being forced to do anything. I like choices. I like options. I like getting ahead. 
So guys, the more advanced it gets, the harder it will be and to get a good grasp on it. So that's why I appreciate everybody here who is on here today because you realize like, crap, you know what? This isn't going away. You've been seeing it pop up a lot. It's not going away. So you guys are here to learn it. And guys, open your eyes and see, like really take a step back just from the real estate industry specifically. And you'll see the truth. You'll see what's happening in the world. This is Stanford's, this is Stanford's website. When you go there, these are things that you will see. Evolutions in healthcare. Evolutions in healthcare. Guys, there is something called, and you guys can look this up on your own time. If you guys are really interested in some of this AI tools, look up the Da Vinci AI bot that does surgeries for people. This is an AI robot that is doing thousands and thousands of surgeries on humans. It's not testing. It's not going through phases. It is right now, probably as we speak, performing surgery, and it is an AI robot. It is revolutionizing how healthcare will be. There's a future that when you go to the doctor and you get a surgery, and then you tell them it was done by a human, they're going to look at you weird. Like, you, you let a human operate on you? Like You didn't have an AI robot? That's the future that we're going into, guys. So it's already revolutionizing the way healthcare is getting done. Implications for the economy. Well, I'll tell you what. AI will be replacing a lot of, like replacing jobs, meaning it's going to be taking a lot out, but it's going to be creating a lot more, right? There's already a factory out in the factory or warehouse out in Seattle that they predict by 2027 to 2028 will be 100% ran by AI robots running it. Not a human in sight running the entire warehouse, Right. So Stanford's seeing this and they're making organizations. It's also building AI-enabled organizations, the School of Engineering. Guys, the, the biggest universities, some of the most prestigious universities in the world are completely changing their curriculum and what is being done. Stanford Artificial Intelligence Program. Going into this, MIT, of course, they had to jump in the action. Universe, United States Artificial Intelligence Institute, Machine Learning for a New Age. MIT, dramatically changing the landscape on which they do business. Microsoft, creating AI-certified engineers, engineered associates. Harvard, artificial intelligence business, creating value and machine learning. Guys, the reason I'm showing you this is this isn't the future anymore, all right? So I know people keep saying AI is the future. AI is the future. AI is right now. The big change in the world that most people do not see coming is artificial intelligence. There's a lot of other things happening in the world right now, right? Not even just in the world. And then you take a look at the world of real estate and everything that is happening. The world as we know it is going to be drastically changing in these next couple of years and already right now. Which is why that you guys are on here. Just about us. Like Jeff said, this is mercifully brief. I won't talk about myself too much much. We've been published in Forbes, Fox, USA Today, Google News for the work that we are specifically doing in the real estate industry just recently in Yahoo Finance because, well, we know what we're talking about when it comes to AI and specifically real estate. I'm not going to talk about other things besides real estate here. It is myself and my brother who run it. Yes, it is my real brother coming through this. As you guys can see, we started our business five years ago. We're big into marketing, branding, video, which is how we met Jeff, Tim, Kathy, Sean, um, Jeff, Sean, and Eric, um, all visiting us down in Orlando. Yes, it is myself, my brother, and Chad. Here's what we know is happening right now. Solo agents, if not real estate agents, if I ask you guys right now, show of hands, who has a bunch of free time? Yeah, not, not a lot of hands usually go up when I ask real estate agents that, right? You guys already don't have a lot of free time. And the problem with where technology was going before AI was the fact that it was getting more difficult to understand, right? Before AI, it was like coding. Then it was like social media, all these places. It gets harder and harder to understand. It's not the case with AI. Here's what else we know, guys. It's not the best agent who wins. It's the best marketer, right? How many people on this call know a real estate agent who is a bad real estate agent, but man, they're good on social media. So they get listings. You do a deal with them and you think, how are you even a real estate agent, right? Like you, you don't even know what's going on, but guys, that's the reality. The best marketer that wins the shift in 2023 and now 2024 guys, the reality, like 
here's the shift that most people just are too caught in the weeds to understand. I want to stop sharing my screen because I think this is a big part right here, guys. You're going to see a lot of people. The lawsuit is going to be taking people out, right? Left and right. People have already left the business because they think it's over. The lawsuit is happening. The presidency and whatever the heck is going to happen there is happening. All of these things that are happening in the world and within real estate, the biggest shift that people still don't see coming is artificial intelligence revolutionizing the world and the real estate business. There are people dramatically cutting their overhead and their costs, all while increasing the marketing, targeting their audience better, getting in front of them more, creating better marketing, having AI run their chatbots, their email campaigns, taking out $50,000, $75,000 jobs, and now getting a $20 a month AI bot to do the jobs even better and growing their businesses. We have solo agents out marketing, the big, out marketing the biggest teams and brokerages in their area with AI, better, more efficiently. We have people that are going through, inserting data and establishing who's most likely to sell, sending them out information about what they're doing next. Guys, there is a huge shift that is happening in the real estate industry. It is not going to be the rates going up and down as much as you think. Why? Because that's already happened in real estate. How many times over the last 20 years have the rates gone up and down? Oh, it's the new high. But guys, the reality is this. AI revolutionizing the biggest business is the single-handed biggest shift that has happened in real estate since the internet. That's the huge shift that is happening right now. Let's come back here. Nobody don't see that. Awesome. And it's real estate agents will not be replaced by AI. They'll be replaced by agents using AI. I'm sure you guys have heard that statement before, right? It's not about AI replacing you guys. It's about the agent using AI that will replace you. So open to AI, Sam Altman. This guy created, basically founded ChatGPT. He has a little group with his tech and CEO friends. They have a bet going around in their group chat of who will become the first one person billion dollar company because of AI. Just really let that sink in. This is what the founders are envisioning. This is why I think this quote is so important. These are the founders of AI, like AI tools such as Chad GPT, Gemini, and all these guys in a group chat. And they have a bet going on of who will become the first one person billion dollar company. This is what these guys envision when they're creating it. This is what these guys see when they're creating these tools. How it will help business owners, how it will help people. And just imagine that, a one-person billion-dollar company, the power of AI that has to be there in order to create this. Well, this guy has a quote too. If you think a solo agent can't outmarket the biggest teams, you guys are going to be in it for a rude awakening. That shift that is happening is happening right now. It's going to be AI agents replacing traditional agents. So at this point, you're probably sitting here saying, all right, let's learn some AI, right? Let's start getting into this. So I am going to be going over some of these tools with you guys here today, all right? I'm going to be going over some of these tools with you guys here today, even giving some quick run-throughs on each one. Each one of these tools I'll put in the chat so that way you guys don't have to try and write them all down and get the links. You guys can take notes, obviously, but I'll include the link for each one of these in the chat after I'm done speaking about them. Just another quick note, if you guys are watching the recording or anything at a later time, for some reason, well, Chad GPT took a vacation day, you know, didn't let us know they're on vacation. It's not currently working. So we won't be covering that one. But we do have five other tools that we're going to be covering with you guys here today. The first one is never reply to an email, social media comments again, summarizes videos for you. So I'm going to be going over this little purple buddy right here. This one is called Merlin. So I'm going to go ahead and throw this in the chat. Awesome. Getmerlin.in. This one to me is my personal favorite. It's my personal favorite. And why? Because I think of this one as my personal assistant, right? The perfect personal assistant that follows me around. Let me do this really quick. Only share my Google Chrome. There we go. My personal assistant that follows me around anywhere that I go. It essentially has 
Chat GPT, Claude 100, uh, Claude 100K, Llama, OpenAI, a bunch of these AI tools built into the back end of it. And it's how you, it's how it is powered. Okay. So if you guys have your Zoom open and you have a bunch of tabs open on the right, you might want to get it a little smaller. Because right over here on the right hand side of my screen is where Merlin follows me around. Right. So this little purple guy, he follows me around to any website that I go to and anywhere that I go. Here's one of the cool parts about Merlin. You can start for free. There's no additional cost to get started with Merlin. Like I said, it's my personal assistant anywhere that I go. Here's an example of an email I got from my man JK asking me to come to this event or do this with him. Here's how Merlin works for my emails. You'll see in my emails, <clears throat> my emails, I have this little purple guy right here. It says, generate your reply with AI. Here's what I like about it. Merlin will read the email. And then all I have to do is basically give what kind of response I want to give. And it writes me a very professional email back, no matter what. Say, so let them down nicely. Can't make it. Invite me to the next one. It doesn't matter about your spelling mistakes either, I guess. So here we go. You're going to see it on the side. And it's read the email. Hey, John, thanks so much for the invite. Blah, blah, blah. Unfortunately, I have prior commitments on this date. Won't be able to attend the training. I'm genuinely interested. I hope this help you have great success. Thanks again for considering me. Insert and send. Done. What I like about it, it's professional every time, right? Instead of me saying, hey, can't make it, bro. See you next time, right? And it's like, no, you don't want to do that. So thanks so much for the exclusive invitation. Truly appreciate your thoughtfulness, including me. Unfortunately, I have a prior commitment. Please do keep me in the loop for future opportunities. So guys, how are real estate agents using this? Well, at the end of the day, let me ask you guys this. How many emails do you have to respond to when you're sitting there at the end of your day, you think you're done, right? You think you're done. You finally kick your feet up. Shoes finally come off. All of a sudden, you're like, holy crap, I got emails to respond to. And then you open up your email. You got a laundry list of emails you want to respond to with no energy at the end of the day. And really, you just don't want to be done. This is where Merlin comes in. You can keep easy responses and then Merlin bumps up your email capability, being able to respond quicker, always professional. So I think at the end of the day, when you want to respond to emails, this is how it gets used. For example, I haven't responded personally to an email in about a year and a half. I use Merlin every single time. Super simple and it gets it done. Here's what else I like about Merlin. Let's say you've asked somebody to do something five times already, right? You ask them, fill out these docs, fill out these docs. Have you filled out these docs? Maybe you start might might start getting a little bit emotional. Like, how can you not be like, how can you be so dumb and not just get this completed? So for you, you can use Merlin to say, let them know in a very professional way to get this shit done. And then wouldn't you know it? It puts it in a very professional way for you to urgently nudge them to get tasks done for you. So Merlin, your personal assistant in your email writing every single time. One of the great reasons I love Merlin. Here is another great re reason that I like Merlin. Here's an example of where he just launched a brand new YouTube series, right? It's our takeover podcast. Talks about taking over. So what we want to do, and this is great for everybody here. What we want to do is we create our YouTube video here. And what you can do is over here on the side is where Merlin always pops up, right? Merlin always pops up. All you have to do is either get the summary right here where it will summarize your video in seconds. So how can real estate agents use this? Well, YouTube University. How many people here use YouTube University? When you want to learn something, you go to YouTube. When you want to get something from a video, you go to YouTube. Instead of sitting here and some YouTube videos, I'm like, all right, dude, you've been introing me for the last 20 minutes. Just get to the meat and potatoes, right? Let me know what, what I actually need to learn here. So you can use the summarize on this video Come over here and be like, well, what part do I want to learn? Let's take control of life through discipline. You click on that and it takes you to the exact moment in the video. So it could be an hour long video. You get the summary done in seconds. You can read through the summary and click to where you actually want to learn something here. So that's one way you can use it to learn faster. So instead of me watching an hour long video, it can be done on here. Merlin is just for the computer. You can get an app on your phone. It just doesn't work the same. It works great on your computer. 
Here is what we use for our marketing and branding here, guys. And I think this is, this to me was huge because if you know me, guys, I send out emails. Is anybody here in my email campaign? Trust me, if you're in my email campaign, you would know it. I see some people laughing, right? We send out a lot of emails. Why? Because once you own the mind share, you own the market share. You guys are taking notes. That's a writer downer. Once you own the mind share, then you own the market share. Why? Because if people think of you first, when they think about either EXP, when they think about the real estate agent in their marketplace, and they think of you first, that's what winning looks like, right? But here we go. How do I take this YouTube video and now I want to create an email? Here is all that I do. The entire YouTube video is right here. I go to transcript. I say, get transcript. I copy this. And normally I will go to chat GPT. Let me actually just see if it's up now. Nope, still not up. So I'll show you guys a workaround. Normally I would just copy this transcript of the entire video Go to ChatGPT and say, hey, write me an email inviting people to watch this video. And then I copy and paste the transcript and it writes me an email. I'll show you guys. You can use Merlin as well. So over here on the right, I have Merlin. So what I do is, let's see, Merlin. I just tell it, write me an email using this information. I just literally copy and paste. Does anybody want free pizza? No? All right, well, next time. I just copy and paste the exact script and boom, here you go. Operation Takeover Podcast 2, Take Over Your Life. And it goes through and it writes me an email based on the transcript of this video. And I don't think I'm better than this stuff here. So all I do here is copy this. BS, check out the links in the description for more information. I copy this and this is an email that I send out to my database. Hey guys, go check out my newest video. And I know Sean, Jeff, and Tim, and Kathy were all naughty when they said they're in my email campaign. You probably already received this email. It was posted, let's see, and not, not even an hour ago, right before this. Guess what I did? You'll read the Merlin and be like, holy crap, he did exactly what he just said he did. You guys all received an email for my latest podcast, new information. Go ahead and check out the latest video. Could be the same thing for your listing videos, guys. Let's say you create an amazing listing video, right? Hot, showcasing one of your newest listings. You can come over here, get the transcript in seconds, and then tell ChatGPT, create me an email inviting people to my newest listing. Go ahead and check it out. And it can be done for you in seconds, right? And then since I can't do um, well, ChatGPT, I'm going to show you one other way that I love using Merlin. So... Another one of my, fam well, not my sayings, but one that I picked up from my mentor is <laughs> R&D, rip off and duplicate, right? You don't have to be the smartest person in the room. You just have to sit next to them, right? So here we go, real estate blog. Here's another great way that I love using Merlin. Let's see. What to expect if you're going to buy or sell a home in June? So you can take a blog just like this, right? And you can use Merlin over here on the side. What you use Merlin for is saying, chat with this web page. So you can come over here and say, tell me the key points. So it'll read the document here and it will give you the key points here for the article. Examples of the infographic. What are the current ones? And then you could chat with it. Are there any features in the article? What are the current mortgage rates provided on the website? So you can go through this. You can chat with it over here on the side. Let's see. To expect. Summarize this auto web disabled. Here we go. Let me try a new one. It's not picking up here. Real estate blog. 25 best Cleveland real estate blogs and website. Let's try this one. Oh. One second, guys. Just trying to find me a blog post. Here we go. Read more. Let's get this one. It's a real estate blog post. So it'll be over here on the side. Chat with this web page. Tell me the key points. Price is right. All right. So here we go. Find anyone's blog post over here on the side. Mark with what it says. Consider it here. What you can do now is say, 
Now write me a similar blog post using formation above. Literally take someone's blog post in seconds, come over here on the side, get the key points from their article, and then it'll rewrite it in your own words over here on the side for your own blog post. And then you can get your blog post here, strategies for selling your home swiftly in competitive market. Here you go. And it goes through and it can write you, rewrite your blog post here in seconds. Then one of my favorite things, now write an email using this. Now it'll come over here and now it'll write you an email inviting people to go look at your blog post. So in seconds, you can take someone else's blog post, get the key points, rewrite it in your own words, then rewrite it to an email. And now you have your own blog post. You have your own email. Now write me a Facebook post with this. And then it could even go through and write you a Facebook post with this information. Here's what I know. The, <laughs> I love duplicating R&D, rip off and duplicate, guys. The, the idea, I'll never forget this. When my one mentor told me, he's like, dude, there's no such thing as an original idea, right? Like, here's the reality. How many times have you thought you had this great idea? And then for me, I go to GoDaddy and I type it in and I'm like, oh, that's already taken. And then I look up 10 variations of it. I'm like, oh, those are all already taken. So it turns out about 15 people had the same idea as me, right? Then you go to Google it or chat GPT it. And then you find 10 other articles or posts or video strategies that you were just thinking. The reality is this, guys, there's no such thing as an original idea, right? Utilize Merlin to R&D, rip off and duplicate. Find blog post things that you like, and then you can duplicate it into your own blog post, duplicate it into your own post, duplicate it into your own emails. Be able to create more content at scale utilizing Merlin. One of the tools that we're going to be going over here today, but also more in depth throughout this course as well, is Merlin. The second tool I want to cover with you guys is called HeyGen. Hey, Jim, we're going to have a more in-depth course as part of our five-part series. What I want to do is just kind of show you guys the basics of each one of these, right? <clears throat> hey, Jen, guys, you can literally create a video that looks like you and sounds like you, but isn't you. It will create videos that look like you and sound like you that isn't you. Here's what I mean by that. Let's go ahead and check out some of our AI studios. Some projects that we make. This was a, uh, yeah, I think I need to share my sound one second here, guys. Share sound. Here we go. This was an example of something that we created. Welcome to 120 Charles Way, set against a breathtaking mountain backdrop on 25 sprawling acres, perfect for horse lovers. Inside, enjoy a spacious living area. It's a little delayed. Like, see, I paused it and then it took like two seconds to even pause. Um, that might be from here, just so you guys know. Let me only share my Chrome tab. There we go. Bathed in natural light, offering views that connect you to the tranquil outdoors. Discover the heart of the home in this modern kitchen, complete with high-end appliances and elegant cabinetry, perfect for family gatherings or a quiet morning coffee. So guys, that is my video avatar. Looks like me, sounds like me. It's a lot better synced up if you watch the video live instead of on a shared screen. And it creates videos for me at scale. I have an admin and a team that goes in here and creates videos for me all the time. How, and then somebody put in the chat, how do you know this is uh, really Nick Krem? I guess you don't. No, I'm just kidding. No, it's, it, it can't do live presentations yet. So, hey, Jen, can literally create a video duplication that looks like you and it sounds like you. And they just, let me see if they have it in the labs, moving avatar. Hmm, they don't have it in labs. They just announced that they launched the moving avatar too. So you guys are going to be seeing this from me and I'm going to be covering with you guys how you can do this. Where literally, I'm going to be walking downtown Cleveland and I'm going to shoot a video of me walking and moving my hands. And then I can create video duplications of me walking in other videos. So it's now it's not going to be just me sitting there. I'm literally going to be able to walk and talk. How are some people using this? I'm going to tell you how some governments are utilizing this currently. One, the Argentinian governor or the governor, 
whatever, governor, president, whatever it was called, wanted to create a video in English for the people that were out there in English. So what he did is he used his Hey Gen avatar because you can translate you in over 150 different languages. So I can create a video of me talking in French. Je, je m'appelle Nick. I know a little French. That's not Duolingo. That's high school. But I can create an entire video of me speaking in 150 different languages. So there are presidents already using this to create a video of themselves that speaks to other people in their area. Japan, I thought this was really interesting. And guys, this is what I mean by it's going to be used in a lot of different ways. When you visit some cities, some hot tour spots in Japan, they now have Heijin avatars as your tour guides. So across the city, you can go speak back and forth with a Heijin avatar, select your language and ask it where it is, where you are going. Here is one of the other ways that we are personally utilizing this. It's about to be set up on our website. So you guys could check it out with us. It's the streaming avatar, right? So check this out. The streaming avatar will be on, you can embed these on your website as a 24 seven sales rep of you. You can come here and say, tell me a real estate joke. Why don't real estate agents trust stairs? Because they're always up to something. <laughs> but like the point of this is we are we have our entire knowledge base on the back end. So it knows everything about my company, everything about our offerings, what we do. And then people could come to my website and chat with me. How is this important? Well, imagine a 24-7 chatbot that is hooked up to the entire knowledge base of who you are, your unique value proposition, what you offer, what your company offer, what your teams offer. People go to the website to check it out and they can chat with you and they can set you up on appointments. They can set you up on different things and is always streaming on your website. So the Hagen avatar, one of my other favorite features on this one, which we'll dive into a little bit later on is URL to ads where you can literally take any URL on the web, on the internet, copy and paste it into here, and it creates videos like this for you. What if I told you your dream home is just a click away? Welcome to 7110 Virginia Ave in beautiful Parma, Ohio. This stunning colonial... So what it does is it literally takes, and you see this person should use a professional photographer for them, right? But we just took a random home off of Zillow, copy and pasted the link into here. And then it goes through and it writes the script, creates the video, takes your avatar and has you talking about the house for you. And that's in about five seconds. Copy and paste the link and you're done. And it creates this video for you. Hey, Jen. The last thing I'll show you guys, and again, I'll be going more in details if you guys stick around for the five-part series, which you definitely should here with the Freedom Team. One of the other things that you're able to do with Hey Jen is in the labs, the personalized video. Personalized video. So how do we utilize this? Well, we have it hooked up right now as an API to all funnels that we have. So let's say somebody signs up to look at 123 Main Street. So you can send them a video of you saying, hey, Jeff, I saw you just looked up 123 Main Street. I just want to let you know if you do have any questions, go ahead and schedule a call. I just want to let you know, blah, blah, blah. What this does is sends people personalized videos at scale. For years, I said, man, personalized videos are so effective, but you just can't scale it, right? Now you can. You can upload your entire CSV of past clients into here, insert their name into the video, or just upload your CSV and it inserts their name into it and even sends them an email saying like, hey, Jeff, just saw you sign up on our website. Hey, Jeff, I just want to reach out and say happy Memorial Day. Hey, Tim, I just want to reach out and say happy Valentine's Day. I don't know, whatever holiday it is, right? And you want to send out a video to your past clients at scale. You want to send out a video inviting people to an open house. You can send out a video personally inviting people to an open house. Personalized videos are pretty cool. But guys, that's Hey, Jeff. And again, that is part of our five-day, five-part series that you guys should be attending here. So let's see. This was an example of how an agent was using their hey gen on one of their listings. Drop. This modern abode boasts a spacious three-car garage, hardy wood siding, and expansive windows that invite natural light. Surrounded by mature trees on over five acres, the property promises privacy and serenity. 
the well manicured landscaping including a state so all he did was put put all his listing pictures in the background put his video over here on the side and created a listing video using Hagen in seconds one of the ways that he utilized it the next tool i want to cover here with you guys is called opus.pro opus.pro this one very very simple to use just to show you guys an example, essentially, here's what it does. You can take any video off the internet or your video and insert the link into here, whether it's a YouTube link, a Zoom link from this presentation or what have you. I need to say get clips. Here is what it works. Here's how it works. Here is a video of Elon and Sam Altman. So check this out, guys. Once you hit enter, it then chops up your video into the most engaging parts. It puts subtitles on it. It could put B-roll on it. And you'll see after you're done, it even gives you an engagement score. So it tells you how well it should perform on different websites. It tells you what it is about. And it even gives you what you can use for the description. So here's an example of the entire video. If you video were 22 today, down. what would the five problems that you would think about working on be? Um, well, first of all, I think um, if somebody is doing something that is useful to the rest of society, I think that's a good thing. So it takes, it was about a one hour interview and then it chops it up into bite-sized clips for you. So instead of you sitting there, and I know people have paid a lot of money to have their videos chopped up before, right? Because it took a clipping team, a subtitle team, a description team, and then people to figure out what are the best parts of the video. Now you can get all of this done in seconds using opus.pro. Opus.pro, I believe it's the best one in the game. I know there's other ones that are out there. Simplest one to use. Literally copy and paste one of your links into here to get Opus.pro. And yes, you can get started. Whoops. You can get started with the free plan. So if you have a free plan on Opus, it's a great place for you guys to get started. Let me copy and paste the link in here. Opus.pro. The next tool I want to cover with you guys, virtual staging. This is AI staging. There's a lot of ones that are out there. I will say this. There's a lot of ones that are out there. We've done our research on a lot of different tools. This was the simplest to use and the best to use. You can see the before and after of each one of these, right? What I want to share with you guys, because look, this one's, it's straightforward, right? Like you have an empty room, you can get rid of things and then put things in there, right? Here's what I want to share with you guys. Because it's not just about using these tools. It's about how you go about using these tools. How do you use these to market? Here is one way that people are utilizing um, that people are utilizing the virtual staging. They'll stage the home like one listing three different ways, right? Because they'll go through and virtual staging, stage it three different ways. And then they'll ask, Hey, which one of these ways would you which 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 one is which one of these ways do you like best? One, two, or three. By the way, check out my newest listing. Why does that work? Well, because people love sharing their opinions, right? Oh, number one's best, number two's best, number three's best. And then you have a bunch of people commenting which way they like it staged the best. Oh, and by the way, you have your listing link in there too. So now people are commenting on your newest listing, which everybody wants, right? More engagement on their listings. So you can go through it, stage it three different ways, ask people which one they like best, and it took you all about three seconds. Yeah, my bad, 30 seconds. I'll be realistic here. 30 seconds to stage it three different ways. That's one way that people are utilizing it. Great way. The second way is with their buyers. I thought this was really interesting. An agent told me this one. I was like, wow. Like, it's, it's just crazy to think about how different agents use it. They'll sit down with their buyers, and if they're really interested in a property... They've seen it and they're like, well, I just don't know about it. They'd say, well, why don't we do this? Why don't we set up your this house like you would set it up? What would this room be for you? They'd be like, oh, it'd be my kid's room. All right, so let's put the bed in here. Like, which wall would the bed be on? So they start virtually AI staging the home the way the buyer would want to see it. And it has dramatically helped them like envision if they really want this home. And then you can even label it something, I don't know, crazy, the AI buying advantage. Let's stage the homes, utilize AI to see how much you would really like this home. Because as you guys know, differentiation is the name of the game, right? 
So virtual staging, you might just think, oh, it's cool for listing pictures, but it's how creative can you be while using it? Stage it three different ways, post it and ask which way people like best. By the way, check out my newest listing. Sit down with the buyer and be like, well, you really like this home? Let's take a look at what you would do with this house. How would you do this room? What would this room be? Let's start putting it together. And then they can start envisioning what it could look like for you as well. Really cool way that I saw agents using this one. The last one, and we are going to have a full class on this as well, is Canva AI and all the new amazing things. Because guys, Canva with their AI just became a lot, lot better. I guess the simplest thing that I'll show you guys here today is when you go to use Canva, here's the best way that I tell agents to use it. Always just do Instagram posts because it can be posted on multiple platforms. You can say create a blank one. It goes here. The best thing that you can do is in design, all you want to do is type in real estate just listed. And if you want to do that, then you get all these just listed templates that you could just plug right into. A lot of times, again, guys, don't recreate the wheel. Don't think you have to create your own template, your own brand, all these things. There's all these templates that are already in here. I could just type in real estate and there's a bunch of just real estate pictures that I can plug in here. Take this out and then upload different things for myself. It's very simple. I'll be going through Canva more at scale. I'm sure those of you who use Canva know about all the amazing things that you can do with it. But as far as graphics go, and especially the new redesign that they just came out with, it's a brand new feature that launched about two weeks ago that we'll be covering during our five-part series. Canva is the fifth one that we are covering. Well, part of the five-part series that we'll be covering with you guys. So guys, for part of this, if you guys stick around for this five-part series, five part series, which I highly recommend, we're going to be going deep dive into each one of these. You'll be getting some systems and how to use each one, as well as, like I said, if you attend the live trainings, we're going to be gifting you guys some free GPTs, some free AI tools that we've built ourselves that aren't available to the public. Fortunately, today with Chad GPT being down, we can't share the links because they do not work currently, but we will be getting those to you. Here's what we know about AI and where we really see this going. Guys, stop thinking about ChatGPT as a tool. Don't think about it as a tool. Don't think about it as a technology thing. Start thinking about this as your lifelong employee. If you can wrap your mind around that, your mindset in all of this will change. Because ChatGPT, you can train it. We're going to show you guys how to train it during this five-part series. You can train it to do tasks for you. You can train it your writing style so it can even write and sound like you. You can train it SEO, YouTube, and how to do all of these amazing things. But the thing is, I can only train my own chat GPT. You have to individually train your chat GPT. I'll start helping you guys on the next part of the series, which will be next month. Definitely make sure you attend live the first series next month. We'll be going through how to train it and giving away some free stuff too. But once you start thinking about this as your lifelong employee, because for the rest of my life, as long as ChatGPT is up, which it's the leading one, the one that everyone here should be using. I know people ask me, Gemini, ChatGPT, which one should I use? Well, if you have to explain something to someone where it's, it's like ChatGPT, then you should just be using ChatGPT. It's the most one in the forefront. It's the one you should be using. Start looking at this as your lifelong employee. Guys, this isn't the internet where we all have access to the internet the same way, right? For the most part, right? We all can access the internet the same way. We can all use websites the same way. We can all build funnels and things the same way. Your chat GPT is only as good as you train it to be. Start looking at this as your lifelong employee. Your mindset will change. Two, AI is a lifelong skill. Guys, this is not going anywhere. It's getting integrated into everyday lives. Three, they're only as good as you train them. If you guys stick around during this five-part series, you'll get to start training them and start to see what they can really do. We're going to have you guys go deep, not wide. I'm not going to cover 50 different AI tools and briefly go over each one and power through it. We're going to be going over those five that I just shared with you today. We're going to go deep on them. And it's about business efficiency and growth. How much more efficient can you be and how much faster can you grow your business using AI? 
I can't cover this right now. I planned on doing that, but ChatGPT is currently down. All the tools are tool. You got to use them in a systematic way, which is what we're going to be covering. If you guys don't think you're on the cutting edge, you're not tech savvy, then this is really for you. I know at some point technology got harder and harder, but now with AI, it's actually a lot more simple than you think. Don't let the scary AI stop you from jumping into this here with us. Stop feeling you can't do it or stop feeling you can't take over. How many people are here on the internet, guys? Cover this a couple of times. <coughs> These are some real headlines that came out when the internet first came out. Computer virus spreads to humans, right? Hackers can turn your home computer into a bomb and blow your family to smithereens. Terrorists plan to blow up the internet. These were real headlines that were coming out when the internet first came out. How many people here have seen similar headlines with AI? And they're coming out with, AI is going to take over the world. I've seen more Terminator memes than I, than I care to deal with, right? People are just scared about what they don't understand. It's uncomfortable because they don't understand it. If Amazon stock just opened up now, everybody here would jump on it, right? How do I know nobody did as well? Because we're all still on this Zoom call. We all invested in Amazon right when it started. I don't, I don't think you'd be here right now, right? You'd, be on, you'd own an island somewhere. Guys, this is the dawn. This is the beginning of artificial intelligence getting introduced to the world. Just really think about that. This is artificial intelligence. That thing that you've been hearing about in movies for years and years, artificial intelligence. And it seems so far away. It is here. It is now getting introduced to the world. And I just, you have to ask yourself, what are you going to do about it? Are you going to be that person where 10 years from now when someone asks, hey, what were you doing when AI got introduced to the world? Well, I was so busy being busy. I was doing a lot of other things. It didn't seem that important at the time. And they'll look at you and think, you, you didn't think artificial intelligence was that important? I know it sounds silly now, but that's the reality that most people are facing. Most people are too busy. Most people are getting confused and their attention is going on all these other things. And they're missing the boat. Make sure you join us for these next series because we're just going to go through each one and exactly how you guys can get the most out of this. Here's one, four things I want to leave you guys with. All right. Yeah. Three things I want to leave you guys with. I'm going to get rid of that one. Three things I want to get rid of you guys. One, AI won't replace real estate agents. AI won't replace agents. The agents using AI will replace the ones that don't. Two, if you guys are here with the Freedom Team, we're going to be the community of agents taking over. I want to share with you guys exactly how you can utilize each one of these in your business, create more marketing across more platforms. And here's the last one. Don't recycle the same 12 months over and over and over again and watch the greatest technological advancement in human history pass you by. It's your chance to be a part of history, guys. And that, to me, is not a stretch. This is the single greatest technological advancement in human history right now getting introduced to humanity. Don't watch it pass you by, guys. So we have an agent right now in our group. Their goal is to have a million dollars in GCI. They haven't hit that yet. They're at about 700000 right now in the year. My man, Denny, he's going through it. And all he's been doing is first, he got over the mindset that people don't want to see him that much. He's emailing his database every single day. Every lead that comes in gets an email every single day. He has blog posts going out twice a week. He has posting three times a week, creating hey and videos like crazy. He's doing all of that, just him and his wife, bolstering up what he is doing. And he's well beyond on pace to get where he is going. Another agent in our group, they took seven listings in one week. But on that, they were about a 30 to 35 listing agent, like a year. And now they took seven listings in one week because they're utilizing AI. They're getting in front of their database. They're emailing people more. But also we teach agents how to differentiate themselves from other other agent using AI, right? When you go into a home and say like, hey, most agents will take hours, days, or even weeks to create your marketing for your listing. I created it before I even walked in the door. Check this out. Because all they did was insert the link into HeyGen, inserted their information into ChatGPT, and created a completely custom tailored marketing plan. So these, like, those are just some simple ways that agents are not 
just telling people about AI, but showing them what AI can do for them. He's like, he's an agent. He's like, man, I haven't really taken time off. Even with I'm with my family, I'm not always with my family. And he said he spent an entire week when his grandchildren were in town and didn't look at his business once besides people who called him here or there. But he got more business because he already had his emails going out, his posts going out, his videos completed with HeyGen and ChatGPT. So his business was still running as a solo agent without him being there. And he got to sp spend the entire week with his grandkids without thinking about what's going on in the business. How am I going to get a deal next week? And to me, I like that story almost even more than the seven listings in a week. Because look, as real estate agents, like I said, who here has free time? No hands go up. What if you can still do run your business and keep it going while enjoying some of that much needed free time? And here, here is here is what I know about email, guys. I don't know who's been spreading this message about don't hit your database too much. You don't want to annoy them. The reality is this. There are three options for people in my email campaigns. One, they love my emails and they're going to stay in it. Two, they're going to unsubscribe. But here's the reality. Guys, if people, if most people, if your leads in your database unsubscribe, you already didn't have their business. I'm not talking about past clients. I'm talking about the leads in your database. You already don't have their business. What do you have to lose from emailing them once a day? They unsubscribe. Oh no, I lost the business I already didn't have. Or they're gonna, you're going to win their business. And the third option for people in your database is they have no idea who you even are. And that's the reality for most of your leads. They don't even know who you are, right? So when you email your database, I, I have somebody in our group right now, they send 60,000 emails a week. He, he messages CRM, said, what's the most amount of emails I can send? He said 60,000, done. Hits it every single week. My man, Greg Moran, he is a, he started picking up his emails and he's, he's now, he's like, I've never gotten a listing from an email and now I'm getting listings from emails. It's crazy. I'm not going to sit here and tell you, you send out one email, your database is going to blow up. But guys, it's all about mind share. Why do you think people have billboards, right? It's not so people stop on the side of the highway, write down your information and keep driving. It's to own the mind share. You know, the same thing with emails. Because like, here's the reality with Chad GPT, what I'm going to show you guys next week, I'll show you guys how to set up a 30 day email campaign in about two minutes, right? Like how you can literally have all your emails written that is highly targeted to your audience. Not just if you're looking to buy or sell right now, I'm your guy. That sucks. It doesn't work. You have to identify your target audience and get more clear on what they do, right? So we're going to go through that training to actually get you custom tailored email campaigns that each one of you can use. And I'm not saying custom tailor that you just insert your name into it, how you can target your audience, right? So email, it's it makes me laugh because it's like the people who run ads who say, never pick up the phone again, only shoot videos. And I'm like, if you tell a real estate agent to never pick up their phone, they're gonna you're gonna kill their business, right? You gotta pick up the phone. You're in real estate. I guess some agents haven't heard that memo. But yes, send emails, absolutely. And, and email a day. Everybody here is capable of an email a day, right? You can do it. It's just some people have told you not to, which I think is just utterly absurd. How many emails do you guys get from Amazon a day? Start thinking about how do I compete with all these other big brands? And then your branding and messaging, you'll realize there's never enough. As far as texting goes, there are laws around texting. I'm um, like, you always have to include the stop. I'll let you guys know one of my favorite ninja tactics when it comes to this is on a scale of one to five. So this is how I use almost all my texts when, when I want to get a response. So I'll be like, I'll text. Here's a great campaign that we just started rolling out with some of, well, not just, but with the last couple of weeks uh, with our society members was you text her for sale by owner that's been on the market for at least two weeks. Just a simple text. You can get all their information, right? On a scale of one to five, how ready are you to work with a real estate agent? Every FISBO that's been on the market for at least two weeks, scale of one to five, how ready are you to work with a real estate agent? Some people say stop. Some people say F you. I'm like, great. So you don't want to work with a real estate agent. Yet. I'll check up in a couple of weeks. But then you'll get some that are like three, four, two, one, five. I'm like, all right, you have a level of interest. And I just took all of these leads and now I got a couple fives. Great. I'm picking up the phone right away. On a scale of one to five. Same thing, expireds. If you can get their phone, well, you can get their phone numbers. On a scale of one to five, how ready are you to put your home back on the market? One, two, four, three. All of a sudden, you get some fresh leads, right? I love that. On a scale of one to five, why? 
because your text messages have to solicit a response and people love sharing where they're at. Hmm, where am I? I'm at a two. Hmm, I'm at a four. Everybody thinks their opinion matters, right? We won't cover that too much, but they love sharing it. So I'm going to utilize that in my branding. But that's how I do text messages. Um, what, what I'll tell you is the same thing I tell everybody else when they ask about learning chatbots, right? Like everybody wants to learn chatbots to set up text campaigns and all these things. Guys, in the next six months, every, every CRM in the country is going to have an AI chatbot built into it or just about everyone, right? Don't go out there and learn how to code, learn how to do these things, and then set it up and then try and get it compliant. Every CRM in the country is going to have an AI chatbot built into it. So it's, I, I wouldn't recommend that you guys go spend time trying to figure any of that out. Um, but how do you get it set up? Mainly, I'm just going to show you how you can create it and then manually push it over. Or you could always use Zapier um, is another great way. Zapier is a way that you can integrate between two of them. Um, and then the last way is API. And normally, you have to pay a good amount more for these tools to have API access to interact between them. I won't be covering that because it's a little bit more of a high level. I want to keep it simple. I like the KISS method, keep it simple, stupid for myself and everybody else. Um, one of my mentors always tells me, he's like, give me the minimal effective dose. It's the smallest amount I need to know to be dangerous, right? And that's what I'm going to be covering with you during these four-part series. To maximize YouTube, here is the tool that I use. Um, to buddy, it's more in depth to go into YouTube. But then also, we are going to be covering YouTube on here. We created a custom GPT that acts as your YouTube coach. So what that means is we took the best real estate YouTube training, you know me, R&D, ripped off and duplicate some of the best ones out there. I transcribed all their training and then put it as a knowledge base behind a custom GPT. So that way, instead of you paying a couple thousand dollars for a YouTube course, watching the videos for hours, and then trying to figure out how do I apply this to what I'm doing, we've already put it as a custom GPT, and then you can talk to it back and forth. Hey, here's what I'm trying to do. What do you recommend? And, it, and it'll tell you exactly what to do based on the course. For chat, for hey Gen, I'll show you guys a little bit of the back end. What you can do with hey Gen, it's very similar almost to CRM Grow in the sense of AI hey, Studio, Labs, Personalized Video. So if I click on like this one right here, I don't know. Let me see if it shows me. You'll see I sent out 330. 53% open rate, pretty good. 6% click, yeah, it could be better. But I can see going through this tracking, email open, landing page not visited, video not watched. So I can send out personalized videos at scale to my, to my database. And then it tells me if they watched the email, if they clicked it, how many people watched the video, et cetera. So like I can see who watched it, who visited the landing page. So I can send out personalized videos to people um, and then get back that information. Let's see. Hey, Ken, this is Nick Krem. I'm really excited to share that you like can save $250 landing page. off your AI certification. So this is like what it looks like. Because then I can send out an email that has this information on it. Click a link to secure your spot in a personalized video saying like, hey, Ken. So that could go out to 500 agents and you're, it's putting their name in every single yep. time. It puts their name and then also says- Hey, Ken, this is Nick Krem. I'm says their name in it and then secure your spot and it takes some places. And then we also paid to have the API set up. Um, so that way, right when someone signs up for something that we have, it sends them this personalized video right away. Like with hey Gen, the pricing, I would start out at creator- and just 24 credits right here, right? Like go to creator, do the 180 credits, either build monthly, so 15 credits, $29 a month. You don't want to do free because you'll get an avatar that looks like you, but then you use other people's voices. So it's like, I, don't, I, don't, I want to sound like me, right? You want to do the creator and start at 15 credits. And then what you want to do is on the video avatar, you want to create an instant avatar an instant avatar and you get three of them for the creator accounts. You get three of them and it takes you all of about five minutes to create one. Very simple to do. And then you get it instantly. You can literally start creating videos right after that. Doesn't take long. This, like I said, there is no future that you do not have to learn artificial intelligence. It doesn't exist. 
You are going to have to learn it. And I'd like to just close with one comment that our founder at EXP, Glenn Sanford, said. And he said this about two and a half, three months ago. Gosh, no, this is June already. He probably said it last <laughs> October. Yeah. He said, AI is far more of a concern than the entire NAR lawsuit issue. Mm -hmm. Think about that. You're, you're scared of what our future looks like because of NAR? This is far worse, according to Glenn Sanford. I respect him. He's a tech genius. And uh, just thought I'd share that with those of you who know who Glenn is. And those of you that don't, he's the uh, founder of EXP Realty. So I'll leave with that. Nick, thank you, brother.